let us have a look at the parameters of bending. So here is a sheet metal which has been bent. The length of the sheet metal which undergoes the bending is the length of bending as shown in this dimension. This is the thickness of the sheet metal. R signifies the inner radius of the bend. So that is the bend radius and alpha signifies the angle of bend. How much of a angle has the sheet metal been bent with respect to the base reference. So these four are the major parameters of bending. That is the length of bend, the thickness of the sheet metal, the angle of bend and the radius of bend. So let us look at the concept of bend allowance. So whenever a blank is taken up for bending, there is a certain amount of length of that blank which has to be protected such that after the bend, that portion will be taken up by the arc of the bend. So that is called bend allowance. As you can see over here, there is some distance over here which is shown as bend allowance and that same distance, once it is bent, will be in form of an arc. So the length of this arc is called the bend allowance. It is important that the bend allowance is considered while generating the blank for the bending because without considering the bend allowance then the overall dimensions of the part will not match as per the design intent. Now let's have a look at how this bend allowance can be calculated for a bend based on the parameters which we have seen earlier. So these are the parameters which we have seen earlier. The length of bending, alpha is the angle of bending, r is the radius, inner radius of bending and t is the thickness. And this is the bend allowance which we need to calculate as the length of the arc. So the formula is bend allowance LB is equal to alpha into R plus KT. So here LB is the bend allowance, alpha is the bend angle as seen over here, R is the radius, bend radius, T is the thickness and K is a factor which generally varies from 0.33 to 0.5. We'll have a look at what exactly is this factor in the coming slide. So this bend allowance is very important for the designer to be specified on the drawing so that the length of the blank is calculated as per the requirement and the dimensions of the overall product do not fall short. 